My name Melly's. I make rap music, R&B music, soul music, everything under one umbrella, you know. And uh, I'm an artist out of mass, just trying to make something out of himself. I always been, you know, like musically inclined. I always used to memorize every song that came on the radio. Things like that started out, you know, just, just like any other in the city kid who, who like rap, you know, rapping with my people and beatbox, I beatbox. Um, my beatbox was horrible, you know, but uh, my verse was dope. And, uh, you know, my name just started out uh, getting bigger and bigger in my city, and uh, I've been rapping ever since. Each time, Obviously, every time somebody tell me my shit was hot, but I still wouldn't believe it because I see a lot of rappers that, you know what I mean, they're delusional. It's, it, it's, so I, sometimes I, I think, like, am I delusional? Like, is my shit really hot? So no matter how many people would tell me, I still always stay grounded and um, would question myself, like, am I supposed to really be doing this? But uh, as the years went by, that just picked up so much. You know, I got in the Boston Herald. Um, I did. It, I, I, I've been embraced by you know some some major people in the game. And um, once I dropped White Boy Like Me, which was my last CD, I pretty much branded that, and uh, we went around the country with it, from Texas to Florida, New York, New England, obviously, um, Atlanta, everywhere. You know what I mean? And uh. Just passing it out on the grind, just meeting new people and uh, people just confirming like, yo, I love your shit, like, keep it moving with that. So everybody's frustrated in the music industry, but especially in Boston, people are frustrated because nobody's really been able to pop off and uh, kick in the door, aside from a couple people, but we all like, we all just trying, trying to uh, reach a goal and uh, got to understand that, you know, unity is part of that, man. You can't, that crab in the barrel shit, it don't really work, man. Like, you know, what people like to do out here is, uh, especially if you rap or if your man rap, uh, they bring up another rapper's name and, uh, you know, knock him down immediately. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that hatred, like, that shit don't get nobody nowhere. Like, and people got to understand, too, when somebody gets close, like a mass pipe miles or something, I don't understand how you can hate on that. That's blasphemy. Just let them get there. At least, like, let's get rich, and then we can hate on each other. You know what I mean? But right now, we don't got shit. So why you hating on somebody in the same position as you that's just trying to, you know, make his life better? But it just got to be a unity thing, man. Everybody got to um, understand we all got a goal in mind, and, and let's get to it. If somebody's music's hot, say their music's hot, man. You don't got to knock them, you know? Being a white dude, it... In this rap shit, like, I'm already used to in the streets, like, before the rap shit, like, being a white dude in the black neighborhood, that's way crazier than being a white dude in the rap shit. So, you know, I kind of got used to that. Um, so it don't really affect me that much, but, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good gift and a curse. Life for life, that's my team, that's my people, that's who I was pulled with. Smoke Ball, Jamaz, Pike Miles, Rock Ducati. You know, Lee Boy Stacks. Basically, I linked up with Rock first, and that was over, like, we got it introduced to each other through a website that my man could blunt run called RaptorBean.com. And I would hear his music. I already had heard Smoke and Miles and everybody, but you know, we kind of bonded over that. I uh, got in touch with each other, and it, it just worked. You know, they, they the type of people, they genuine people like I am. We sat down at the table as bosses. I come with my own crew, they got their own crew, so it just, Work our music is magic, and um, we've just been rocking like that ever since. It's hard sometimes, but you gotta respect. You gotta respect the people in your team, and uh, like everybody know, I'm gonna go get it done regardless. I'm gonna, you know me, I'm gonna be in the studio. I'm gonna get, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get what I gotta get done. And as long as everybody's on that same page, and make it pretty easy to work. You know, it's just when somebody starts slacking, that's when uh teams break apart, but if everybody got the same goal and the same mentality, you know, teamwork make a dream work. You gotta understand it's not just, you know, recording and making the music, that's that's like a quarter of the battle. You gotta get out there, you, you gotta have your image right. What's your story? Who are you? You know what I mean? What do you offer to the world? Once you establish that, then you gotta get on your promotional ground, your internet, in the streets. Um, so it, it's the music, everything, and the music is a big part. You know, I don't mean to make it sound minuscule, but promo is too, and just everything that comes along with it. There's so many facets to this game that 
I learned, you know, on, on, on my uh, my road to the riches, I learned, but I would have never expected that coming up. I just thought it was just rhymes and beats, but it's way deeper than that. So if you get into it, just know it is a job, you know what I mean? You're going to have to smile when you don't want to smile. You got to go places, shake hands you don't want to shake sometimes, and um, you got to be consistent. Consistency is everything, you know? So. If you get in it, don't think it's just you just gonna make a rap song, have a hundred groupies, and be popping bottles. You know, it's not like that. Hey yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Blanco, Millie Blanco, that is. El Gringo to all my Latinos, T Blunt on my Haitians, Muy Pop Blue and Muy Icy, you know what I mean? I'm rocking with my motherfucking man Dante Luna. Scope Urban Apparel, and I hate Boston haters. I hate them. Yeah, you. You, motherfucker, you. You know what I mean? But it's your boy Millie's, man. Scope Urban Apparel. Yeah. Take tables. Life. We be in the streets all night. I don't even know when I'm coming home. Yeah. Say Luna, that's that exclusive. Melly's featuring Rod Ducati, white boy like me, part two. Alright?